people refer to imbalanced masculinity as toxic masculinity. And what it really is, is hyper masculinity. What needs to happen when we have uh, hyper masculinity is balance. And in order to do that, we need to understand what masculine energy is. Masculine energy is action oriented, stable, powerful. It's having the ability to get things done. It's being and enjoying being structured, being able to solve problems and enjoying creativity. It's enjoying creating structure and rules. It's being assertive and knowing how to stand up for yourself and being focused on results. When you have an imbalance of uh, masculinity, it becomes more toxic. It becomes uh, overstepping boundaries, not seeing other people's boundaries. It becomes uh, handling things with such force that you're now just completely out of bounds. And so the goal should be to balance your masculine with your feminine energy. Being able to be assertive and stand up for yourself and what you believe in and being focused and being task oriented and organized and structured while also respecting other people's space, respecting other people's boundaries not feeling that you need to micromanage others or control others and um, pretty much carry everything because you need to be in control. That is what toxic masculinity looks like. I struggled with tapping into masculine energy for a long time. And it was so bad that I would end up in relationships with guys that were overly masculine to make up for the masculinity that I didn't have. So I found myself in a lot of situations where I was always, always trying to prevent myself from having to show or assert masculine energy because I was afraid of my masculine energy. And the truth is, my masculine energy was just, it needed to be healed because my version of masculine energy uh, was always unhealthy. And what I mean by that is whenever I would get upset and have to assert myself, it was extreme. Like there was never a balance, never a, a happy medium. It was always from the zero, zero to a hundred. And I would um, get so upset that I would black out at times and not even know what I was doing. So I was really afraid of tapping into that masculine energy, which caused issues in other areas of my life because you need masculine energy. You need to be able to be focused and structured and organized and uh, taking care of your business. And I just wasn't able to do that because of having to be assertive and standing up for yourself when that time comes. You have to do that. So there was a lot of issues with that and I'm sure it has a lot to do with how I was raised. I was raised by a very sweet woman who um, who's also hasn't been very comfortable with um, stepping into her masculine energy and um, she is healing as well. You know, I've healed a lot from my past issues and I definitely have learned to balance out my masculine energy. And um, so to watch my mom heal hers is, is a beautiful thing. She's making strides and doing things that I'm like, I'm proud of you. And I'm proud of me. Like, I'm just proud of everybody right now. Everybody's growing and healing and it's so, so beautiful. To be able to pass this on to my children, to make sure that my sons are 
uh, using their masculine energy in a healthy way and making sure that they don't take on the toxic traits that I struggled with as a child, teen, and adult. Um, so that if I should choose to come back in another lifetime, my the people that I come in through are going to be healthy and healed. So that I don't have to live a lot of the same experiences all over again. Feminine energy is something that I have mastered because I've been in it for so long. And um, I know this is in a video about feminine energy, but I just want to touch on it just a bit. Feminine energy is um, just being able to be softer in your approach. I can be assertive, but say what I have to say in a way that I'm not coming off as an asshole. I'm not, it might hurt your feelings because I am expressing or shining a light on something that you need to see about yourself to change, but I don't need to do it in a way where it's like, um, I don't want to hear anything, it's my way or the highway, you change, you change now, it's, I was very offended by the way that you did or, sex, or said XYZ, and this is how it made me feel. I would appreciate it if you teach if you treat me this way. It's being able to know how to treat others or it's being able to articulate how you want to be treated in a way that doesn't um, excessively offend the people around you and allow you to put your foot on someone else's neck and demand with entitlement and so um, this past year has been very difficult but in the way that I have learned some really harsh lessons about standing up for myself because I wasn't able to be assertive in the past and say, okay, well, this is something I don't want, you know. So the universe will get louder when it's trying to speak to you and you're not listening. And uh, I've come a long way with healing, balancing out my masculine energy. And I love now that I can express how I feel and what my needs are with love and not allowing myself to get ugly uh, when things don't go the way that I like them to go. And I know that because of that, the universe will bless me and reward me for learning those lessons. So, with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope that I uh, touched on masculine energy in a way that allows you to look within yourself and see what parts of yourself that might need to be altered or um, balanced, how you can balance your masculine energy in a healthy way and allow for some femininity in your, your energy field and, and not just, you know, power through with masculine energy. I'm going to do a video on, um, energy because um, that's just as important and you need to know how to balance out your masculine energy with feminine energy. You need to know about feminine energy to balance out your masculine energy with feminine energy because it's essential.